Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blood Daz. Office Blood Here we are, the two of us on Sports Edition. <coughs> if sports is for you, leave us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. Yep. No, it makes sense. I so you do appreciate mind. it. Hmm? So I know they don't mind as well. I know, it's free. Uh, what Cooper Flag just did to Team USA is insane. Well, I've heard a lot of good things about this kid, to be honest. I've not heard anything about him, to be honest, mate. I know he's like one of the best high school players. He was at Montverde and I know he went to Maine or something like that. Right. And now I think he's going to go to Duke. But I've seen he apparently did playing with the USA team. Apparently did quite well. Should we watch it? Let's have a look. Cooper Flag showed everyone that he is next up after what he did to several NBA Hall of Famers. To set the scene, during the Team USA scrimmage, you have former MVPs, champions, Hall of Famers, and some of the best defenders on the planet. Yet a 17-year-old stole the show. I, mean, I think it's always impressive that age with those with those guys. A lot of guys in their top 75 uh, ever. So to be able to be on that level and um, being able just to showcase your talent, because you're going to be there probably next year. So just to see what it is for right now, I mean, I like it. You know, that's when the youngins come in, always, always rooting for the youngins. Cooper Flagg was one of a dozen players on a select team whose <laughs> sole job the past two days was to help Team USA build some chemistry and get a few reps in. But Cooper must have missed that memo. He wasn't there to help all of the NBA superstars. He was there to get his respect from the best in the world. At six foot eight, with an outside touch and the ability to attack the rim as well, Flagg has been highly ranked since he started high school in Maine. The soon-to-be Duke Blue Devil and possible number one draft pick, Cooper was the first college player to participate with the USA Select team since 2013. He quickly earned the respect of some of the Team USA members. The sideline looked like a hell of a player. Somebody's just going to only get better with more experience. You know, 17 years old, coming in here and playing like he's a vet almost. You know, no emotion. He's going out there and doing his job. And that's a good sign. Cooper nearly led the select team to a win in the final moments of a tight game with a few baskets, mainly because his teammates deferred to him, which shows you how much respect he already commands. On one late sequence, he elevated for a three-pointer over Anthony Davis, who blocked one of Flag's shots Sunday, sending the teenager to the floor, then followed up seconds later with a putback plus the foul. Jamal Mosley, the head coach of the Orlando Magic, said that he kicked butt here. There's a respect factor for what he's done. People who have not seen him play as he gets himself going within the game, they quickly see what he can do. People were in awe of just how amazing he looked out there. He looks like he's like, uh, he should be on the other team. Do you know what I mean? Like, if mean? They turned up the, like the USA team, he's on the select one that's all like filled up with other ones that are like, uh, I don't know, what did he say, vets, uh, past Hall of Famers and all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, but he's the one that's like putting the effort in. He looks like he's, you know, they've, they've turned up with too many players and gone, you go on that team instead. Yeah. You know, with the best make team, it make it fair. <laughs> yeah, you on that team, make it fair. Yeah. Cooper Flag, the phenom, maybe the future face of Team USA basketball. Because this roster is ridiculous. It's loaded top to bottom. Mm. I think it's the most talented top to bottom Team USA team that this country has ever fielded. That is a 17 year old kid who's committed to Duke playing against all NBA players, the only college uh, player on the court. And he's never even played college ball yet. Having this 18 second sequence, three over one of the best defensive players in the league, running back on defense, causing a turnover, getting the ball, looking up the court, looking to dish, then sprinting the length of the court and getting the offensive rebound put back and one over one of the what five best defensive players. Bam was all NBA first team defense. This kid Cooper flag looks to be the real deal. And so I'm going to take this opportunity. You know, in the NFL, we had uh, tank for Trevor. We had suck for luck. Capture the flag. The big thing about Cooper is that he is already a tenacious two way player. In fact, he is a better defender than he is an offensive player. Now, he is not a perfect player just yet. His handling ability is unrefined and his jumper has a low release point. But those are things that Cooper has plenty of time to hone and master, especially considering he doesn't turn 18 until December. Cooper flag looking like the one. A lot of people were doubting it, but. I've been saying he the one. I don't he know like why. And I know people are always oh, just high school. Like, nah, you can tell in the motherfucker's game. Hey, he really liked that, bro. You can tell. Hey, if you're stepping on the court, buddy, the team, the current team USA, yeah. and they're playing up to their standards. Yeah, it's like I said, that, that team USA, like the guy was saying before, it's proper stacked top to bottom. Yeah, literally. There's no, there's no like mid, there's no mid in anywhere yeah, in that no team. There's no weakness at all. Mm. 
with somebody just special. <laughs> like he got a twin brother or a brother or something. Mm -hmm. He don't look like him. Don't. <laughs> he not tall as him. <laughs> he don't jump like him. He also understands how blessed he is and made sure to capitalize on this once in a lifetime opportunity. I was shocked. I was surprised and I was really excited for this opportunity and I am just really blessed that I was able to come out and capitalize on it and show what I have. I was really grateful to come out and learn. Part of the developmental credit has to go to his parents. Looking to challenge him, his mom enrolled him on a fourth grade rec league team when he was only in the second grade. She recalled Cooper palming the ball in midair and sprinting to the other side of the court to finish a layup. He was only seven years old at that time. His instincts were unmatched and were well beyond his age. As a second grader, he never left the floor and would just be exhausted because they would play two or three games in a day. The next year, he started playing against fifth grade boys while being in third grade himself. However, it was not a walk in the park for him. The practices were tough and he was often covered in bruises, but he was already growing so he didn't feel out of place playing against the older kids. His parents continued to push him to challenge himself against better competition. Now, Cooper has always been obsessed with basketball. During the winter months, Cooper and his brother would take shovels and shovel out a square in the snow and play with gloves on. Talk about dedication. And then as the boys grew taller in their first year, Cooper's doctor placed them in the 100th percentile for height. But Cooper was in the 25th percentile for weight. He was nicknamed String Bean, and his mother still calls him Bean. Now, of course, there is another famous Bean in basketball, Kobe Bean Bryant. However, Cooper would mold his game after another rather unique legend. Eventually, his parents formed their own AAU program where they could pour every dollar they raised back into their kids. They let the boys decide on a name, and they went with Maine United. They usually drove the family's blue Chrysler minivan. They'd lay the middle row of seats down so the boys could sprawl out, then play old Boston Celtics tapes on the van's mini DVD player. Those tapes were Cooper's basketball education. Larry Bird was his professor and remains his favorite player. And the way those teams played always stuck with Cooper. Watching them every single day maybe brainwashed him into the fact that, well, that's how you play. When Cooper started playing high school ball, his team was really bad. They had finished one for 17 for two years in a row. However, Cooper brought with him a ton of hype as he was already averaging six dunks a game in middle school. Now that is just absurd to think about. That season ended up being one for the ages. The team went 21 and one on their way to capturing the state title. To talk about a turnaround, Cooper began to show the same flashes of elite talent that the rest of the world has now caught up on. Cooper averaged 20.5 points, 10 rebounds, 6.2 assists, 3.7 steals, and 3.7 blocks per game that season, becoming the first freshman in state history to be named <coughs> main Gatorade Player of the Year, and Nokomis won its first state title. Midway through Cooper and Ace's freshman season, the flags accepted the inevitable. The Twins would have to leave home to reach their full basketball potential. His parents vetted schools nationwide but struggled to find the right fit. Then Montverde invited the flags to watch them in person at a nearby tournament. The school had a reputation for producing seven first round NBA picks since wow. 2020. The Twins saw Mount Verde's style, which prioritized the same team first principles of the old Celtics teams they grew up studying. Leaving the gym, Cooper and Ace agreed to go to Mount Verde. But it wouldn't take long for NBA superstars to take notice of this young up-and-coming star. During the under-16 Peach Jam tournament, Cooper averaged 25.4 points, 13 rebounds, and 5.7 assists, and even had LeBron James approach him at one point to chop it. So it's daft thing that, by the way, when you have to like, play sports with masks on. It just doesn't make sense to touch each other anyway. Yeah, be to be, yeah, you're close to each other and he's, uh, there's a lot of interaction. But that's, uh, he's, he's saying there LeBron James approached him on the way. And I did, I did read a headline last week that talked about Mount, Mount Verde. Um, Mount Verde? Yeah, yeah, Mount Verde. They're, yeah it's, they're, it's, they're literally the best team every year I know, but he said something about it the other day on the headline. I never, he must have been talking about him, but I never picked up on it what it was. Yeah. It was just, it's like, but that name stuck <clears> in my mind, sort of thing. But uh, he's got a name as well that's really marketable as well called Flag. Because it goes with everything, doesn't it? You know, when you talk about the USA flag. <laughs> don't know, the flag of don't know whatever else this the, 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 yeah. you salute the flag or whatever it may be. There's loads you of sort of like marketing. The flag is a nickname. Yeah, yeah, there's loads of, loads of marketing sort of like associated with it, isn't they? Yeah. yeah. Put up. Kid sure he gave yeah, he the does. young stud some words of wisdom. In the summer of 2023, Cooper even impressed Stephen Curry at his camp because of his unique combination of athleticism, size, length, competitiveness, and skills. Now, there is also a legendary story that Cooper Flag took it to Bradley Beal in practice. 
However, Beal has denied these rumors. We were playing five on five uh, against the top elite high school kids in the class. Cooper, obviously, number one kid. A lot of talent in the gym. A lot of talent in the gym. Those kids are obviously next up. They were competing. We were talking trash, but we didn't. We didn't disrespect each other. We didn't play one on one. We didn't cuss each other out. That didn't happen. While Celtic superstar Jason Tatum applauded Cooper's competitiveness, saying that Cooper knows he's good, but that didn't stop him from competing hard in every single possession he could. He knows he's good, but he realizes he's got a long way to go. He's going at guys, going at the pros. He was trying to block every shot, getting every rebound. He wasn't playing cool. He was playing hard, competing. He was asking questions a lot and listening. Meanwhile, Kenyon Martin felt that it was almost unfair for Cooper to play against other high school kids. He's 10 out there, bitch. He's and he can play. And he's like, he'll, like he, he ain't just tall. He athletic, can shoot it, can handle it. Like, I saw him play a couple summers ago in Dallas during the summer. He playing against high school kids. I was like, why he playing against them? <laughs> like, for real, like, like, that was my thought. Like, he was just ahead, of, ahead and above, like, better than all the rest of the kids that was out there. Cooper would finish his high school career by being named the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Since then, he has committed to play for Duke. His game has already transitioned to the international scene. Cooper played for the United States Under-17 basketball team at the 2022 FIBA Under-17 Basketball World Cup. He was named to the all-tournament team after averaging 9.3 points, 10 rebounds, 2.9 block shots, and 2.4 steals per game as the United States won the gold medal. He scored 10 points with 17 rebounds, 8 steals, and 4 block shots in a 79-67 win over Spain in the final. Cooper was named the 2022 USA Basketball Male Athlete of the Year for his performance in the Under-17 World Cup and is the youngest player to win the award. It is clear what Team USA was doing when they invited Cooper to the scrimmage. They were showing him his future. Perhaps by the time the next Olympics come around, Cooper will be one of the main guys representing America and helping them win gold once again. Brilliant. Guy looks the guy looks the real thing, doesn't he? Does it? Yeah. I'm wondering why they don't take him to the uh, to the Olympics now. Just be a, be, a, say, be a watcher, then over someone on the side. I was gonna say, do you reckon like it would ever happen like instead of taking like people into the USA team that aren't in the NBA? Like college players. Yeah, well, I think that, I think they should do that, and I think don't they do that anyway? Don't they take a couple? I don't know. Then they said on a previous video we were watching, they said they've always had one that's come from like a uh, come from college I'm not, or NCAA something. Sure that's about that, to be honest. But um, the, uh, the, the, the some of, I don't know for his, for his experience, just to take him along. But it must be coming recommended to sort of like play in these games from like Curry's of the world and LeBron. They're not people like because he said they've they've spoken yeah, well, about it's, it yeah, before. It's no like he's known. He's not like yeah. he's been called up to play with yeah. them, and he's yeah. the only college player there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks mint, the kid. Yeah, it looks really good. I guess he's going to go in this season, is he, for, uh, for Duke? Yeah, I would have thought yeah, so. Yeah, this upcoming season. Interesting to see how he does. I'm sure I'm sure I know the answer to that. Yeah. So he'll be number one draft, I guess, uh, the following season. He'll probably do one year in college, will he? Maybe. Yeah. You never know what he wants to do, eh? No, I don't know how that works. I know, uh, it's, I don't know it's, all, few... it's all up to, like, what he wants to do, you know? Yeah, there's a few people that went straight from high school straight into the NBA, didn't they? Like, LeBron James was one. Um, Gosh, there's too many that have done that. <clears throat> was Alan Iverson one? Was or it? Kobe? It was Col- was it Kobe? Kobe might have been. Yeah, actually. Kobe did. Yeah, I think Kobe went straight from high school to uh, to, to the NBA, and so did LeBron. Mm. But uh, I think that's they're the only two that spring to my mind. I'm, I'm not even hundred percent sure on them, but I think they did. Yeah, but hopefully, you know, this guy, uh, this guy's the real deal, and he uh, he shines through. But he's got that attitude as well. When he was jamming there, he was looking straight back at him, and giving it money when he went in, <laughs> like that, I like the attitude as well. But carries him forward. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget, like, yeah. and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.